Today I'm celebrating the news that the EU withdrawal bill has received royal assent. Now this means we've finally embarked on the first step to achieving the Brexit that 17.4 million Britons voted for on June 23rd, 2016. It's taken over two years just to get to this point, thanks to the constant meddling of the political establishment and Theresa May's shambolic shilly-shallying. It's now up to UKIP to unite and make the final push for an independent Britain something I've campaigned for since I joined the Anti-Common Market League way back in 1967. UKIP is at last going forward again under Gerard Batten, and I'm excited to learn that a number of big-name social influencers have joined the party. I'd like to welcome Paul Joseph Watson, Sargon of Akkad, Count Dankula, and Milo Yiannopoulos to our party. Now, if you're not a social media animal, some of these names may seem a bit strange, but they're all true crusaders for freedom of expression, and I'm delighted they realise that UKIP is the only party committed to this principle. I look forward to them developing truly dank memes that will trigger lefty lovies like Gary Lineker, James O'Brien, and the rest of their politically correct establishment chums. Hello, yes, Neil Hamilton is either a screwball or works for hope, not hate. That's right, you've just watched a video, if you've watched it before, Neil Hamilton uh, introducing and welcoming the latest members to UKIP in the form of Paul Joseph Watson, Marlo Yiannopoulos, Count Dankula and Sargon of ACAD. Now firstly ask yourself this, how, how could Neil Hamilton keep a straight face and not burst into laughter when introducing Count Dankula? or Sargon of ACAD. Neil Hamilton, a bit weird at times and bizarre and has been involved in some strange antics, but he's a politician with vast amounts of experience. He's not an idiot, far from it. Yes, he would know, he'd have to, that associating and introducing weirdos into UKIP would have a detrimental effect on UKIP morale, membership and at the polls, he'd have to know. He'd have to be an idiot not to know. Jared Batten, obviously, you endorsed the video. You obviously have welcomed Sargon of ACAD and Count Dankula and the others right into UKIP. Why would you do that? And given you've already endorsed and embraced the Tommy Robinson Roadshow and everything that comes with it, right? I have to draw inference on you and that you are working for the enemy. There is no doubt in my mind because the pantomime and circus continues, doesn't it? It gets more bizarre and more weird. The latest escapade is Count Dankula. Sargon of Akkad, Lord of the Rings. Nigel Farage, UKIP is on his... What are you going to do about this? Are you just going to let these... Government agents, whoever they work for, probably hope not hating the big boys in MI5, destroy UKIP. Everything you've worked hard for. You see, like I've said, if Neil Hamilton's not a screwball, then he has to work for hope not hate. You could not introduce these comical characters without bursting into laughter, right? Let alone expect anyone to take them serious. Count Tankula. What, what's his past? What, what's his uh, claim to fame? Other than the nonsense of teaching a pug to see Carl or whatever, right? What, what's his claim to fame? Was he a former councillor, MP, MEP? Same with Sargon of Akkad, Lord of the Rings. What, what's his claim to fame? Well, exactly, right? There will be UKIPers that will be confused and bewildered as to what's happening. And they won't know after watching this video and many other videos of mine, they probably will join the dots then. Nigel Farage most certainly has already joined the dots. What's happening? What's happening to UKIP is what's been happening to British nationalism the past 40 years. Sadly, Daphne Griffin didn't see it coming, no pun intended, right? Uh, and the spies took uh, the BMP from him. He doesn't care now because there's no European Parliament fact check at the end of the week or month is that he doesn't care. So he's pushing this bollocks and nonsense about have more children and organising the community. Exactly what do you mean? Can you send me an email to let me know exactly what organising in the community means? Right? Because I'll start doing it tomorrow here in Norris Green, Liverpool, where I live. 
right? I'll, I'll be the strong, I'll be the first to get the ball rolling for you. Send me an email, tell me exactly what to do, and I'll do it tomorrow. I'll start straight away. Crack a door, and I'll be up, and I'll be doing it. But it's a load of nonsense, you know what it is? It's a cop house. You with another hope not hates by Jackson, right? Who uh, used a UKIP as a springboard into British nationalism by attacking the Jewish Labour MP. Uh, Luciana Berger, another coincidence, another accident, you know, Nick Griffin, you're, you're just, you're a comical figure, you're like Count Jankula, or Sargon of Akkad now, that's how comical you are, and that's sad really, but it's the truth, anyway, so, you've got to laugh, because you'd go insane, oh, you, I didn't have a good sense of humour, Christ, you'd go insane, what's going on, but I have got a good sense of humour, and I'm, I'm strong, I'm really, really a strong man, I'm a strong person, but anyway, so, Neil Hamilton's either a screwball or works for Hope Not Hate. He introduces Count Dankula, Sargon of Akkad, like it's Winston Churchill or whoever. It is bizarre. So you have to draw inference. Jared Batten have already drew inference on you. You've embraced indoors the Tommy Robinson Roadshow and all the nonsense. And now you're embracing the weirdos and the freaks coming into UKIP that are going to destroy you. So I've already made my mind up. Uh, regarding you, and you, you work for the enemy, you're out to destroy UKIP, like Henry Bolton, Stephen Wolf, and probably many others in there. Also, where's all the Facebook, the UKIP Facebook pages, opposing this latest bizarre, um, well, I don't know what the word for it is, bear with me, uh, opposing um, these individuals joining UKIP, where are the, the, the Facebook pages of UKIP, saying this is wrong, this is silly, this is stupid. Sargon of Acad, Count Dankula, Christ, what's it coming to? But yet no one is, no one's opposing it, because I've been looking at the UKIP Facebook pages, in fact, they're endorsing it, and it shows you either the stupidness, cowardism, or the, the enemy control again. It, it can only be one or the other, right? And probably more so the latter. Because, as I've said, how can any political leader, Jared Batten, and someone like Neil Hamilton, who's been around a long time, allow people like Count Dankula, Sargon of Akkad, to join UKIP and welcome them like it's Winston Churchill or something, and then Milo Yiannopoulos, a sexual deviant? Paul Joseph Watson, now you've joined UKIP, are you going to be now pushing electoral politics on your videos instead of the usual international issues or big national issues that little people on the ground aren't interested in. Like, all that's all you all push. Big massive issues and um, problems around the world that the little man on the street's not interested in. Are you now going to start pushing electoral politics? I wait and see. Okay, thank you.